What sort of advice would you give to somebody who is looking to enter the IT industry? Um, I guess there's fairly uh, well-known paths into the IT industry through tertiary education. So anyone with a degree, it's, it's I suppose, deciding that you want to do it first up. And I think once you're in there, though, the important thing is just to keep learning. Um, I think technology is changing at such a rapid pace these days, it's, it's easy to get complacent, it's easy to get pigeonholed, and if you're not constantly looking at new technologies and what's progressing, what's changing, um, you're going you're gonna to find yourself stuck at some point quite quickly. Keep learning, mm. before, during. <laughs> and what are the biggest changes that you've seen in, in your area in, in technology? Um, I guess the, the internet affects everything. So where when I started out and the internet was only in its, in its dawn, um, these days it's everywhere so you're talking about obviously mobile is, is huge and that's been the big thing for the last five to six years. The next big thing that seems to, will, will be a sea change is devices everywhere so internet of things that type of thing. Um, the type of software that we will need to accommodate those types of devices is quite different than we've got now and funnily enough as yeah, people people think that technology is only getting more powerful, which is true. But when you've got something like a smoke alarm or your fridge, these are very low-powered devices in terms of computing. So we're actually having to become more skilled again at programming in a highly restricted environment. Whereas uh, from the 70s onwards, we only got increasing amounts of power, and now we're going to have to, we're having to go backwards again. <laughs> Somebody who is uh, in the middle of their career and would want to progress further into a, a leadership role. Is there any advice that you would um, pass on? Again, it depends on where you want to go. For somebody in my position, the, probably there's a couple of um, well-known career paths, so perhaps to go into project management or into technical architecture. Um, people, somebody with more people skills might choose the management role. If you're more of a techie, you might choose the, uh, the architecture role. Um, so again, I think if you've been proactive in your, in, in your learning, in, in your career up to that point, probably you'll know quite naturally what you're good at, what you want to do. Um, so again, if you've got those leadership skills, you've got the technical capability, it'll just happen for you.